So what's going on here? I just walked into one of my accounts. This is the front door. And I just wanted to let y'all walk through with me and see what I'm looking for when I come in and do an inspection. So immediately, as soon as I walked in the door, on the surface, it looked pretty clean, right? Everything looks uh, decent so far from what you can see. Uh, but one thing, the first thing I noticed that jumped out to me as soon as I walked in the door is crumbs on the counter right here. So I'm going to come back and get that up. And this is after my employee cleaned over the weekend. So here it is early Monday morning before the people come in to actually work. Uh, this right here, this is an actual crumb that can come up. It's just a scratch on the table. So that's not too bad. See the trash is dumped. She has pushed in nice and neat. Uh, one thing I notice on this part, because most of the time people are just look for fingerprints on stuff like this. But I like to look for the dust. I'm always looking for dust. So over here, I see a little speck right here of something like it's grass or something. So I would just take and wipe that off, knock that off, or pick it up, put it in the trash. And then if you look closely back here, I don't know if y'all can see it on the video, but there's a little bit of dust built up back there. So I will get that. And then also on top of that computer tower up there. And if you look on the top of this computer monitor, you can also see a little dust or crumbs or whatever that is that was sitting up there. So just trying to be real detailed about dust in particular. Dust is always what gets people in trouble, okay? So then I'm going to come around from this front end lobby area, walk around. If you notice, they have these little, I guess, name plates or whatever. You always want to make sure you run your rag as you're cleaning across the top of that ledge and make sure there's no dust. Uh, yep, so we had dust up there, so I'm going to let them know about that. Then if you come in this first room, the printer room, printer area. A lot of fingerprints on this thing here. See, a lot of my employees, some probably do and some don't know. But me personally, I like to wipe these. Some accounts don't like you to wipe them because uh, the chemical from uh, that you're using to clean with could kind of mess up the touch screen. But, uh, and this thing does look like the power is on, so if I touch it, it's probably gone. Yeah, see, that's probably why he didn't wipe that. Okay, so me personally, I still would wipe it because I know how to get away with it. But some people prefer to be safe than sorry. So that's probably what happened there. Okay. Um, little crumbs on there, a little speck. You see, so it's got to teach them how to be a little bit more detailed. Even with this stuff up here, these uh, cable lines and stuff, or the top of ledges like that, I always dust everything. Everything that I see, I try to be as detailed as possible. Okay. Now, as you're walking out of every room, you want to look at the light fixtures, make sure there's no fingerprints or marks on those either. All right, same thing with the uh, fire extinguishers, dust and stuff. It can build up all up inside of here as well as uh, all up around this area. Okay, so on to the next room. There's another one of those. You want to go across that with your rag as well. Uh, this room looks nice and, nice and neat. You can tell it's been wiped down because usually it's fingerprints all over it. And see, when you've been doing this for a while, you'll be able to look at, you know exactly what you're looking for every single time. You see this straight box right here. It To me, on the surface, it appears to be trash. But the way that we like to do it, we tell the customers, if you have any like spare boxes or anything laying around in their office, they need to label the uh, object with a sticky note and write trash on it otherwise we won't throw it away because we don't want to make a mistake and throw something away on accident as you can see right here he didn't wipe down this area at all because i can see little crumbs and stuff right here so i'm gonna have to go back and get that so trash can is dumped all right now in this office as you can see, there's a lot of stuff. I won't go too fo too close up on what they have on the desk because it might be personal information. But if you look at the uh, desk there, that there's a small space here that you can actually wipe. So I would wipe just that spot, but since there's so much stuff on that desk, they we prefer not to wipe down, okay? Because we don't want to make a mistake and knock something down on the floor, okay? When you right across the top of that. Here we have a bathroom.
You want to make sure that that's always clean, like I told you. Uh, sink, everything was clean in here. Clean the glass. Hit your toilet. You want to hit that, make sure that's wiped down. Make sure everything is restocked. We see they got tissue, they got extra tissue. They got their paper towels and everything looks good, okay? So we're going to leave that alone. And see, this is one of those type of carpets where a person could get away with not vacuuming uh, if they tried because it's hard to see on it because it's one of those carpets that like crumbs can blend in real good. But when you've been doing this for a while, like I said, you can learn to spot stuff. Just like I'm able to spot this little thing here, which is going to be trash today. Okay. And usually we would spot clean walls as well. Like as we see them, there's not really a schedule for it. Not necessarily an everyday thing, but if you happen to see like spots on the wall, we would take and we would clean those too. But in this particular building, they have what's called flat paint. So uh, we can't wipe down on flat paint. So see that table is wiped down. Everything appears to be good in here. See the trash is dumped. And then the final office. And so, I'm just going a little bit faster because I don't want to be all on people's desk. But, yeah, I'll get the drift. So, and if you look over there, you can see those pictures. You want to make sure that you run your rag over the ledges on the top of those pictures. Anything that's a horizontal surface, run your rag or your duster across it because you do want to make sure that everything is dusted nice and neat. So this is probably my smallest account right here. Very easy account. I pay my employee uh, about 80 bucks a month to come clean this one once a week. And yeah, you say, well, how do you get away with just paying $80 for the whole month? It's because like I said, he's coming in once a week. Um, I tell them to be in here for about two hours every time they come, even though it really should take an hour, hour and a half maybe. But I always pay for a little bit more time than uh, usually expected. So that way, if I tell them to do more than what they uh, might feel is regular and it takes a little bit longer, it's still not taking longer than what I'm paying them for anyway. So that way I always get the best quality out of the workers, okay? So that's how I go about doing mine. And then, so let's say that's $10 an hour, $20 uh, every time they come because I'm telling them to take two hours. And then you got four weeks in a month, so $80 a month. So thank y'all for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting. Look forward to another one of these, and I appreciate y'all. Thanks.